Business School near Paris, Curtis Young. Thanks very much for being with us on the programme. Um, from what we saw there, Donald Trump then appearing to really crack down further on these protests. How do you think that's going to go down in the US, particularly, of course, in the, the black community there? It's not going to go down. Uh, it's not going to go down well at all. Donald Trump uh, has abdicated every semblance of leadership. And basically, he's pouring fuel on this, uh, this, this, this dreadful event. I mean, look, this, we've, we've, we've been dealing with this since 1619. And, and, you know, it's really interesting thinking about that. It was 30 years uh, after that, in fact, that Hobbes started talking about developing a social contract uh, to, to, to put an end to this, as he said, poor, nasty, short, brutish life living in a state of nature of each other at each other's throat. And what we created in America, uh, what uh, philosopher Charles Mills talked about very elegantly, is a racial contract. That is to say, how do we create an America and exclude certain people from it? And so if this, the, the chains of racism and America have enchained all of America, white, black, and otherwise. Most presidents have understood this. Trump is completely, uh, uh, completely lost in, the, in this, and he's, he's, uh, he's just, he has, he's abdicated leadership. Uh, His argument, though, presumably would be that you can't just allow people to, to carry on looting, even, of course, that lo looting has uh, nothing to do with those uh, peacefully protesting. Well, well, I mean, well, there you have it. I mean, he, there, there's a systemic problem. Uh, and instead of having the sensibility, the courage to address the problem, as many local leaders are, are, are doing, trying to do, uh, I'm thinking about the governor in Illinois, I'm thinking about governors in other states, we have no national leadership. We, uh, the, the social contract in America is completely broken. And so, and so there we have it. I mean, the idea that he would uh, tear gas people to make way for him to go and stand in front of a church uh, to, to, for a photo op is just um, a terrific symbol of the vacuousness of his, of his presence in the White House. I mean, it's, it's just it's a shame. When do you think this will go from now? I mean, it could be now that the protests gradually start dying down, but obviously the, the black community particularly has one uh, chance, if you like, uh, to, to get rid of Donald Trump if, if they wish. That comes in November in the election. Do you think it will uh, encourage people to, to turn out and vote against him? But absolutely. I mean, looking looking at looking at polling now, uh, looking at all of the polling, this this man doesn't stand a chance in, in, in November. But once again, we, we we have to look at the source. It's not it's not the the symptom, the 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 violence, the rioting, the, it, all of all of this sort of stuff. Look, this is a pro this is not a black problem. This is an America problem. And once America recognizes that this is an America problem, then we can begin to start looking at finding solutions for this. And do you think America will be able to, to come together to try to solve that problem? And is, is, the, is the will really there, not just amongst the black community, but in the white community as well? Well, well, well there it is, you see, because this is, uh, once again, this is not a black community problem. This is an America community problem. That is to say, this is a problem that, that, that deals with white people, black people, with all of the people who are trying to create, uh, fortify this, this fragile experiment in democracy that we have in America. So I really think that this is, a, this is a, a, an incredibly important turning point uh, in this long, long legacy of disenfranchisement, of brutality, of, of, of murder, of, of imprisonment, of substandard housing, of job discrimination, and all the rest of it that, that we've been dragging through century after century after century. I think this is really a critical moment, and I, I'm, I'm really hopeful. I'm really hopeful that, that we are going to turn a, a very important page in this particular moment, because here's what we have to change. We have to change the tenets that we hold in our hearts. We have to recognize that we are a human community, not a black community or a white community or, a, or an Asian community, et cetera, et cetera, but a human community. And, and, and we all have a stake in it. So we have to change the tenets in our hearts if we want to see peace in our land. Curtis Young, thanks very much for being with us on the program today. Curtis Young from the uh, ESET Business School. Thank you.